The Night Stalker killed at least 13 times, 13 people who were awakened in the night to face death. At least 15 others survived his brutal attacks. I didn't particularly care for people. In a rare interview, Ramirez refused to discuss his own crimes, but had this to say about serial killers. A serial killer comes about by circumstances and like a, a recipe, poverty, drugs, child abuse. These things, you know, are, contribute to a person, uh, to a person's frustration and anger, and, uh, and uh, at some point in life, he explodes. I believe in the, in the evil in human nature. This is a wicked, wicked world, and uh, in a wicked world, you, wicked people are born. Stalker. That's kind of weird. What's, that? What's the Night Stalker? That's the next series. Series? Series that we watched. Night Stalker, Richard Ramirez. Yes. He went on a killing spree. I wrote it down so I didn't forget. That's why you asked why I went right down. This is why. Okay. From June 1984 until August 1985. Sentenced to death in 1989, but died in 2019. Died in 2013 from cancer. Which he deserved. He got what he got, although he should have got the electric chair, but he was disgusting. He was evil. You want to see a demon in disguise? Devil? Spawn? He was evil. Just looking at him through the TV, I felt wrong because it was just evil he just looks so wrong yes <coughs> hail satan. that's all he said throughout his whole time of being caught hail satan hail satan that don't tell you something it pretty much irritated you though right because you just wanted them to catch him and catch him and oh did. my god so we're we both had to work today of course it's monday and Typically, him and I go about 9, 9.30 downstairs just to lay out and, you know, put something on and watch TV. No. He's like, you want to watch the next one? Yep. Want to watch the next one? 10 something. Are you sure you want to watch the next one? It's like 10 something. Yeah, I'll just wake up later tomorrow because I work from home. I make up my own hours and he don't have to be until 8.30 so he could have slept in. You know, he didn't have to get up at you know, 5 or 6. I normally get up at 4, 4.30 in the morning, but last night was I yeah I was so irritated I'm like God will they just find this guy just find him but they did yeah. finally I just you know he tops I mean yeah down or eight people but he's the cruelest so far he beats Gacy and he beats Dahmer to me because the poor little kids that he sexually assaulted what, a six-year-old and an eight-year-old or something? Boy and a girl. That's disgusting. That's disgusting that you're going to have sex with an eight-year-old boy and a six-year-old girl. You're, you're disgusting. And then he, not only did he molest and rape the boy, he did his mom, too, in the same night, in the same session. Disgusting. It was just gross. And then there was one house he tagged where he you know did what he did to them ate their food masturbated jizzed all over the place and did something else and I was just like this guy is 100% deranged he was just evil and there was nothing really fascinating about him per se the way he killed people stabbing shooting no yeah. you know the thing that made him more scary is the fact that you never knew where he was going to end up next 
Yeah. So if there's no way anybody to prepare for it. And I still think it's stupid how all these people just left their windows unlocked and their doors open. You know, it's like because they're not. They didn't. It doesn't In the matter. 70s, they didn't. You know, have crime like. It's they all do over now. the news, though. You should know he's in your pretty close to you. Lock up. And so she didn't know where he's going to be next. Like, come on. Yeah, I felt bad about that one girl when she told her parents. She told her parents. You need to be careful, lock your doors, stay safe. And the mom was like... We're from the Midwest. I'm not going to be scared. We're from the Midwest. We've dealt with worse. We're, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to do that. Sure as shit. That night he comes and he gets her parents. I don't know if it was that night, but they got killed. I don't know when it was. Either, just, but... So he went from the reason the age from like six years old all the way up to what was it, like 85 years old he killed? Yeah. But he didn't kill the eight year old or the six year old he just no. molested them which is disgusting i like how he's when he's raping these people saying don't look at me like yeah he kept saying don't look at me and then this one girl said i swear to god i won't and he goes don't swear to god swear to satan yeah he's you guys really have to go look this freak up he mm. is evil you can just see in his eyebrows go like they go like this and his he's just and he's that smirk. He's got that evil grin. Full of himself. Full of himself and he was so proud of what he did to all these poor innocent people. He was just so proud of himself. Disgusting. And so anyways, long story short, dumbass is sitting on death row waiting to get zapped and ah, Long and behold, guess who gets B cell lymphoma? Got what he deserved. Should have got it a lot sooner, but. Yep, because he died, what, in his 50s? Went to jail in his 30s, died in his 50s. I hate to say this, but as cruel as he was to others in his deaths and how he killed them, I hope they were cruel to him and didn't get him any kind of treatment. Make him suffer the way he made everyone else suffer. I'm sure they probably kept him by himself. <laughs> well, you had to the way he was. He's just... <clears throat> when they took him into jail, they said, we're going to put you in the same cell as... Uh... What did they say, Ted Bundy? Not Bundy, the other guy. Who was the other guy? I can't remember. I don't think it was Bundy, though. It was some other guy, some other mass murderer that he envied. And he's like, really? That's awesome. Yeah, he was all excited about it. He studied them. It's like those were his idols. He idled those people that were mass murderers. But like any serial killer, they end up fucking up. And... Yeah. Dumbass kept leaving his shoe prints everywhere. <sighs> but the best part, though, is how he was caught. Tell him how they were, how he was caught. I don't remember really. Let's see how you got. So he, he came back on the bus. He came back from Arizona visiting his brother. Yeah, and he and, got on a bus. And then everyone started recognizing him. And he got off the bus. Yep. Went to a liquor store, and he seen this picture on the paper there. And everyone started noticing, so they started chasing him down the street, and then eventually they all jumped his ass. They were yeah, they were beating him. His own kind, of Latino community they were beating him with in the back of the head trying to get him and finally he just gave up because he was so exhausted and he just let him come get him he was just exhausted from it and he was saying that you guys are a bunch of pussies for lack of a better word because mm -hmm. of fighting and all and I said, if i had a gun you guys wouldn't be around me mm -hmm. he's like you okay. are a pussy. You're the one. You're, you're the one that needs weapons to kill yeah. people. You're and the pussy. They're sleeping. Like, yeah. Okay. You don't have any room to talk. And I think it's funny how these serial killers try to get away and run for and they're scared for their life after what they did. Why don't yeah. you just fucking stay there and man up? Yep. At least with Dahmer, he admitted it. Yes, he straight up knew he did wrong and he should have got faced the consequences as he should have. Freaking Gacy and this dipshit. Yeah, we watched Gacy. That might be the next one that we do. I don't know why we're just addicted to these right now. Gacy, I don't know. The Gacy one for me, we might as well talk about it now because it's really a, not a long series that they have. What, one or two? Or was it three? There's a bunch of them though. We haven't watched all of them. We just watched one of them. I don't know. Just the short one that we watch. I mean, other than the fact that he was doing this in the city I was born and raised in, Des Plaines, Illinois. 
And then uh, Adam and I found out that uh, where we live here in Rockford. Um, we don't live in Rockford. We Okay, so here's Rockford, here's Loves Park. We're, we're right there. But anyways. Quit telling people where we live. Sorry. Cut that out. <sighs> Keep going. So uh, they picked a local here for one of the uh, uh, jurors for the trial for Gacy. So I thought that was kind of cool. I was telling Adam, it's like, guy did it where I grew up and was born and raised. And then now where we're living, someone close by us was picked for juror. And they actually did the interview of the guy that lives here and talked about the town for a little bit. But It's funny. He looks like someone that would be from here, too. He looks like a dumbass. So you're saying we look like dumbasses? Yes. Rockford. So... <laughs> Hey, you were born and raised in Rockford. Oh, I look like a dumbass. No, you don't. <laughs> you do not. Anyway, um, yeah, Gacy was funny in that interview. He called Dahmer insane, but doesn't think he himself is insane. But yet he lies about everything that he did. Yeah. Oh, you know, it wasn't me. I don't even remember any of these people. I don't know who they are. I'm like, okay. Okay. Then how the hell did you tell them where they were all buried underneath your house, dumbass? He drew a diagram of his house and where each body was. And... But he didn't kill them. They just mysteriously got underneath his house, but he didn't kill them. I think we're going to dive into Ted Bundy next. Where's Bundy from? I want to say it was Florida. Sorry, our next door neighbor loves to leave their dogs out all day and night and it's barking if you can hear it. But yeah, I, I never heard much about him. I know he went out killing females. Okay. And then I think he was like arrested and went to jail or prison, got out, like he escaped. Yeah. Got caught again and escaped a second time. Yeah, and that's the thing with Dahmer and Gacy, they prayed gay men. Hmm? They liked gay men. Or what? Gacy Dahmer didn't like it. He. I think that's part of his issues. He didn't like the fact that he was gay and hated the ones that he was attracted to. Like he hated that he was attracted to men, so he killed them. So maybe it helped him get rid of that feeling. But I don't know. But well, yeah, Gacy was just a straight up perv. Mhm. Mm Old man perving on young guys because they were all young. Yeah, at least Dahmer was somewhat young. Yeah. But yeah. But then this one last night that we watched, it was all kinds. He didn't give an F. Mm -hmm. It was just whatever he got in that house was what got. He didn't pick or pray. Well, did he pray? Pray and what? No. He just pray went to, I just think he went to random houses, and that's why it took so long to catch him, because it was so random. Yeah. Yeah, so we hear the dog bark. He'd be in different counties every time he did it, and then I think we went with the San Francisco. Yeah. Can you go lay down? Stop ruining our videos. Go. I need the dinners. So, um, yeah. But yeah, as far as Richard Ramirez, yeah, he's definitely one of those ones you just want to beat the shit out of. Oh, God. He's just... Even when one of the uh, detectives that had been on the chase looking for this guy and trying to figure out, like, how to, you know, catch him... Um, when they had him in, you know, questioning him about why he did what he did and stuff like that. And then he started asking him about his upbringing and he started like breathing heavy and like acting all weird. And the guy was like, if this dude, he's like, I've been stabbed, I've been shot, I've been this and I've been that. And I've started, he goes, if this guy starts levitating, I'm out of here. That's how evil this dude was. I mean, he, he uh, was going around with the pentagram. In his palm, I don't know, yeah, go like this, and the, the pentagram was in the palm of his hand, showing everyone, and they show one of the clips where he's getting taken away in a cop car, he's got, he's going like this out the window, so everyone can see it on, in his palm. And of course you got the dumbass females that just worship these serial killers and want to be with them, I was like, really? So the stupid, sending nudes of themselves to him in jail. It's like, you realize if you were to meet him, he'd straight up probably kill your dumb ass. Yeah, you it's... idiot. I don't know. Whatever. Dumb people out there, I guess. 
And I guess now there's a serial killer running loose in California. Yeah. As of now, I don't... I think he's killed like five people so far in two months or something. So, I don't know. They can stay in California. All those people have issues over there anyway. <laughs> Yeah, but that one was messed up last night. Oh, it was yeah. really messed up. Yeah. I gotta... just never, I can't remember back to anyone I've seen. When I've seen him on TV, just looking back at you, just evil. He just looks so evil. You said his eyes were black? They were black. You couldn't even see the pupil. I mean, that's how black they were. And he had this one pose. He's like in the in the pose, and he has these nasty ass <laughs> teeth. He looked like a demon with pointed teeth, and the way his eyebrows pointed up, and the way his, he literally looked like a fuck a demon. I don't care on this channel. No. <laughs> I just I get a bad wrong feeling just even looking at him, and then he just. Um, just like the evil grin he had all the time on his face. I think eventually once we get through all these serial killers, we'll probably put like our top five or ten list who we think is like the worst. And yeah. But, and these are just our opinions of the thing. Like I've never really dove deep into these serial killers. Obviously I've heard about them, but I never got into it. And it's now... Something with that Jeffrey Dahmer series got me, I'm just down a rabbit hole now. I'm surprised the FBI is not at our house because of all the things that we've been searching. Well, I haven't searched anything really. Well, I've been search... searching for criminal shit, you know. You have? I haven't. I haven't done crap. Then why are you just assuming I have then? Because look at, it's in the queue. Like, look yeah, because we... we just watched freaking Dahmer. Yeah. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so, so so far between Dahmer, Gacy, Night Stalker, that's the only ones we've done so far, right? Yep. Right now, who's at the top of your list? Ramirez? And Night Stalker? Yep. And then Dahmer? And then Dahmer. And then Gacy? Yep. Yep. I think so far it's Dahmer, Gacy, Ramirez. Why? Why Dahmer? Well, this for as long as he's gotten away with it. Over 10 years. And then, obviously, eating them. Yeah. That's... Gacy just straight up hiding, just like Dahmer, hiding all the bodies and no one knew where they're at. At mm -hmm. least with Ramirez, they knew when those people got killed and they got there right away to do what they had to do. Yeah. They were found right away. Yeah. I don't know, I just can't imagine living in a house or an apartment with rotting flesh. And I've smelled dead bodies before, and it's a smell you don't forget, so I, I couldn't. Yeah, because uh, the one girl, the next door neighbor, she was at work, and I can't, someone was in there, in the break room with her, and um, she was saying something about how she still couldn't get the dead smell body out of her nose. No matter what she does, she cannot get the, the smell. And this was way long after she still she still couldn't get the smell out of her nose. I was stuck in my nose for a good yeah. two, three months after. Yep. So, that's crazy. But, yeah. Yep. So, Ted Bundy's next, and... Uh, I'm sure that's going to be more heft up. Mm -hmm. So we'll see. We'll see. How many more are there after Bundy? I'm get the sons of Sam. I forget his name. I'm going to look into. He was like in New York, I think. Uh, got Ed Gein to do. Okay. There's so many out there. I mean, Ed. Edward Edwards. Uh, there's a bunch. Okay. 
Anything else?